Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make power-ups in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is create a sphere. You can do this by going up to part and pressing sphere. Then move it up into the air. And we're going to change the color from medium stone gray to yellow. And then the material is going to be neon, so it glows. Then let's also make the transparency about 0 0.5 or like 0 0.25. So it still glows, but it's kind of see through. The next step is we're going to go to can collide and turn that off so people can walk through it. On anchored, turn that on. And now we're finished with the materials and stuff. Next thing, name it power up. And let's add a script. We can name the script Power Up Script. Then get rid of the first default text. And we're just going to make one variable local part equals script.parent. And then we can start making functions in regular code. Part dot touched. So whenever a player touches it, connect function and then do parentheses for the parameters and enter player, actually not player, hit. So whatever it hits. And then if hit dot parent, find first child humanoid, then, so if we find a humanoid uh, with the player that it hit or with the person or thing that it hit, then we know it's a character or a player. So then local character equals hit dot parent. Local player equals character or not character. Game dot players get player from character care for character. So these are the variables. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is give the player speed. So we also need another variable for humanoid. So local humanoid equals to character, wait for child, humanoid. All right. Now, I don't think we're even gonna need the player thing, so get rid of that, but in the next episode of this series, uh, with the power-ups, we might need it. So just get rid of it for now, because it might cause some issues if you use like dummies and stuff. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is humanoid dot walk speed equal to uh, also you want to never put like just 32 or something fast uh, you don't want a number you want to make a variable for that so let's create another variable called um, power up speed equals to and we're gonna make this 20. So it's four speed higher than the regular walk speed. Okay. And then we need one more variable called local debounce equals two. And the debounce is gonna stop people from just like touching the power up over and over. So local debounce equals to false. And then the last variable, local timer is equal to five seconds so it only lets you get that much speed for five seconds okay um, and then we're also gonna go up here and do and t uh, debounce equals to false then and here's the code down here and then right here do debounce equals to true and then down here do timer wait or not my bad do wait and then timer and then you also need to have the walk speed change to power up speed and then after the timer do human walk speed equals regular walk speed and we don't have a variable for that so we'll just create that uh, now we're not going to put it up here we're actually going to put it down here so 
Local walk speed. I'll put it down here by character. Local walk speed or regular walk speed. Eco station or adult walk speed. Okay. And actually, no, no, no. That that might cause issues because if someone already has a power up, so let, let's just do it 16 because we we know it's just gonna be 16. Or if you don't like that, you can go to starter player and just do it to character walk speed. So game dot starter character or starter player dot character walk speed. All right, and then down here, do debounce equals to false and part destroy. So after they touch it, it will destroy the part so nobody else can get it. So now if we walk into it, I can see we go really fast. And then after it destroys it, but I want it to be destroyed right after someone touches it. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is instead of just completely getting rid of it, we're going to just change the transparency. So do part dot transparency equals to one. And now it will basically destroy it. However, it's not completely destroyed, which is good. But since we have the debounce, it basically just means that it won't uh, let anybody like keep touching it. Uh, but then, after a little bit, it destroys it, which is great. So now what we're going to do is the last thing. Um, what we're going to do here is make particles for this. So create a particle emitter in this. And we're going to make it yellow particles. And then we're going to change the rate to 5. And then the speed to 3. And then the lifetime is going to be down at 1. And I think that looks pretty cool. Also, you can change the shape so to like sphere if it's a sphere, and now it emits like a sphere. And then do lock to part also. And now when you move it around, it should work. Now, in the next episode, I will show you guys how to uh, basically duplicate these all around the map and like just have a random generation. So, that'll be in the next video. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.